were healed in our bodies. Glory to God. Really in our bodies and our souls or our minds. If you've got mental problems today, Jesus bore that for you. He, he bore for the complete peace, spirit, soul, and body. He took it upon himself. And he bore every weakness. If you're here today and you've been weak and your body's getting weaker and you feel like, you know, things aren't moving and doing like they ought to do. Weakness is under that curse. You look under the curse, you'll find every bad thing. You can't think of a bad thing that's not under the curse. That's in Deuteronomy 28. You ought to look at it and see what all you've been delivered out of. But I'm just going to tell you today that, uh, that you've been delivered by Jesus personally from every sickness, weakness, and pain. You've been delivered from incapacitating, being incapacitated, hallelujah. <coughs> Glory to God. And your well-being and your finances included. You can't be, you can't have well-being if you don't eat. Amen. So the curse, and that you look under it. I mean, the curse. Boy, that was that curse is bad, bad. If you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, you need to do that today. And if you read that curse, you'd do it today, because it's bad. Man, all kind of destruction in there. Nothing good under the curse. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But under the blessing, everything's taken care of. Spirit, soul, body, financially, socially. Bless the Lord. So to get under the blessing, you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, and if you haven't done that already, well, we'll give you an opportunity to do it today. Bless the Lord. We are healed. We are saved. We are provided for. Glory to God. Now when it comes to prosperity, God, God talks to you a lot about, uh, about what to do in prospering. You know, how to prosper. For one thing, he says to tithe. Get, get God involved in your money and you got something. Give God your, your ten, tithe is 10%. Give him... The 10%, you can do more if you want to, but a tithe is actually 10%. And uh, we never we never were on solid ground financially until we started tithing faithfully, you know, without, well, I think we need this money more than God does this month, so we'll make it up later. No, it's your first and your best. Give your first and your best 10% to the Lord, and the blessing will be on the rest. The first and the best 10% to the Lord. And the blessing comes on the rest. The first and the best, the blessing comes on the rest. Amen? So, uh, and then you, uh, you, you know, you listen to the Lord. You do what He says. And, and uh, you can't just tithe and live like the devil. Although, if I were going to live like the devil, I'd be sure and tithe. But I don't know how much it helped me. What we got to do? We got to get in the Bible and live like God says. If we want the blessing unhindered, sin hinders the blessing. We want the blessing unhindered. We want uh, divine health in our in our life, divine prosperity, divine uh, blessing. We're gonna have to do what the Word says. Get born again. Then you want to be filled with the Spirit. If you're here in this meeting and you've never been filled with the Spirit, sometime today, whoever's listening, we need to give an opportunity for people to be filled with the Spirit. We never did grow much at all until we received the Holy Spirit. Then we never did, we got born again, we received the Holy Spirit. Then we never did grow much past that until we began to hear about faith in the Word of God. You know, uh, how many of you have actually been well acquainted with the message of faith already? How many of you didn't have a clue on how to live until you heard how to act on the Word of God? Same group. <laughs> you know, it, it all goes together. But once you begin to know that this is where my life is, this Word right here, this is where my healing is, 
It's given me healing. It's given me prosperity, peace, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. That's in me when I'm born again. That's the fruit of the Spirit. Now what I need to do with that? I need to yield to it. Glory to God. Amen? And begin to uh, to uh, study things out like like the fruit of the Spirit. If you never, if you've never, um, if you've just been born again, you haven't had time to grow much, uh, the next step would be, one of the good next steps to be is to study the fruit of the Spirit and realize what's on the inside of you. Oh, I've got joy. You know, we sing that song, Joy Like a River. I've got joy. Well, okay, but I didn't. I don't feel like I've got joy. I hadn't noticed it. But that says I've got joy. What do I do? I yield to that joy. I do just what I did with faith. Love, joy, uh, faithfulness, faith. You, you yield to faith. You yield to joy. Do a study on joy. Peace. Oh, I, I've got peace. That's, that's in me. I'm born again. How, how do I get that out? I yield to it. When worry tries to come, when fretting tries to come, the Bible just says don't fret about anything. Don't fret, uh, Amplified says, do not fret or be anxious about anything. Not your rent, not your job, not your kids, not your money, not your wife, not your husband. Don't fret about anything. But with joy, peace, patience, the fruit of the Spirit, we begin to yield to that. If it's against the fruit, don't do it. Isn't that good? We don't have to be worried. We don't have to fret. It does no good at all for you to worry or fret. That's not faith. God doesn't work by worry. He doesn't work by fretting. He doesn't work by unbelief. He doesn't work by fear. So he gives us the fruit of the Spirit. And that enables him to work. Love. God works by love. Joy. The joy of the Lord's our strength. Peace. This is healing. This is about healing. I'm telling you, don't fret. Don't fret. Don't fret about your body. Don't fret about symptoms. Don't fret about anything. But let God overcome it with His way. Love. Joy. Peace. What if you're standing for your healing and you have pain and, it, you know, it's hard. Pain is, it is obnoxious. I have to agree. And it is aggravating. And it is hard to put up with. But what do we do if we have pain? Pain's under the curse. There's no question about it. Pain is under the curse. Mm -hmm. I've been redeemed from the curse. What do you do in a time of, uh, you know, a time of uh, testing and situation? You keep in the Word. You stay in the Word. You stay in the Word. You yield to the Word. You don't yield your mouth to the problem. You find things in the Scripture... Like, for instance, you know, this covers everything. Jesus bore our pains. He bore our diseases. Isaiah 53 covers everything. He bore it for me. And then, in Jesus, and you have the name of Jesus if you're born again, so rebuke that pain. And, and don't yield to it. Amen. Or whatever symptom it is. Don't be moved by those things. Be moved by the Word of God. Be moved by surely He has borne our griefs, sicknesses, and distresses, and carried our sorrows and pains. Yet we ignorantly considered Him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God, as if with leprosy. But He was wounded for our sins or transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquity. The chastisement needful to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon him. And with the stripes that wounded him, we are healed and made whole. In other words, your sickness, that sickness that's come on your body, your pain, your discomfort, that's already been handled. It came as, to man as a result of sin. Jesus bore our sins, carried our diseases. And by his stripes, we were healed. I were healed. I already were healed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so what do we do? We resist the curse. No pain, your 
under the curse. I rebuke you. I'll not have you. Jesus himself took my pain. Jesus himself took the leprosy. Jesus himself took arthritis. I don't have it. I'm not having it. I yes. refuse to have it. I'm healed. Oh, Whatever's missing. Whatever's broken. You got parts missing and you need them back. I believe I have five fingers on this hand. Five fingers on that hand in Jesus' name. I believe my feet are healed and normal. Whatever it is, don't let the devil get away with anything in your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't let him take. See, the devil's a taker. He's what, you know, the Bible calls him a thief. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You know why he's a taker and why he's a thief? Because absolutely nothing belongs to him. He got whooped, whooped. He didn't get whipped. He got whooped. And badly. And he had everything. He had an important place. He was very important. But he came against God. He committed high treason. And he was booted out. He is not important. That wouldn't hurt you to tell him that. Devil, you are not important. God is important. Jesus is important. The Father's important. The Holy Spirit's important. But Satan is a defeated foe. He got kicked out. Glory to God. And we have to keep him kicked out. So what, what does the devil do? Well, how does he come at us? Well, the only good thing you say about the devil is he is a, a good liar. He is a, a developed, highly developed liar. He's a deceiver. He's a tricker. And he tries to get you to believe that God doesn't care anything about you. God doesn't care. He, didn't, he doesn't care. He doesn't love you. That's a lie. God so loved the world that he gave us Jesus. He loves me. He loves me. He loves you. He gave Jesus for me. If you were the only person in the world at that time, Jesus would have paid the price for just one person. He would have paid it for you. Now, what does the Bible say? He, Jesus, bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. And by his stripes, by the stripes that was put on that were put on him, we are healed and made whole. We are healed and made whole. We are healed. Say, I am healed. If I was healed, I am healed. I received my healing this morning. I will not allow sickness and disease in my life. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I receive the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Right now. Let's all say it together. To come in me. I receive the Holy Spirit. I ask you, Father. Fill me with your Spirit. The overflowing. that happens, you, you speak with other tongues. So let's all do that. I receive Him. I receive the Holy Spirit. I receive utterance in other tongues right now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What does the Bible teach us about that? When we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive what?
best victory in the area of health and healing. They'll keep you safe from virus, infection, discomfort, and disease when you follow the instructions laid out in the Bible on how to get healed and stay that way. For over 50 years, Gloria Copeland has been passionately teaching people how to apply the principles of faith found in God's Word to take their healing. Get on the road to divine health with your healing prescription package. Listen and participate in healing school with Gloria's six-message audio series. Use the scriptures as your prescription medicine to stay healed with the RX Healing Brochure and discover the keys to living well and having a full, healthy life with Gloria's mini-book, Three Steps to the Good Life. There is sickness in the world, but as believers, we know that our weapon is not against flesh and blood, and faith for healing will come as you keep filling your heart with the Word of God. Live symptom and fear free, confident in God's power to get healed and stay healed for a long, strong life. Request your healing prescription MP3 package free from Kenneth Copeland Ministries at kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01225-787-310. Take God's healing prescription. Let the Word of God in these teaching resources help you receive your healing and stay well. See yourself living healthy and whole. This free offer is good for 30 days. Postage charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. We heard my mom say, if you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, today is your day. I'm going to introduce you to Jesus and give you an opportunity to be born again and to ask him to come into your heart. If you've never asked him in, just pray this with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for me. Come into my heart. Take my life and do something with it. Thank you, Father, for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross and erase every history that was not of you. I start anew today with Jesus as my Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, you are now in Christ. If you want to receive the Holy Spirit too, just say, come in, Holy Spirit, and fill me up to overflowing with speaking in tongues. It is that simple. You know what I love about Jesus? You can just talk to him. You don't have to close your eyes. You don't have to just do all the talking. Jesus is your Lord. The Bible says he's your shepherd. The Bible says that you know his voice. The problem is a lot of times we don't really get to hear his voice because we're doing all the talking. So I want to encourage you to just come before him, even before you start reading the Bible. Come before him and talk to him. Tell him you love him and then be quiet. Tell him what's going on in your life and then be quiet. Read a scripture and then be quiet. <laughs> let him in on the let him in on your time with him and don't just do all the business with him. Let him feed you. You know what he tells me a lot in the morning? I, I can't tell you how many times he tells me, Kelly, today is your day of salvation. And even though I got saved when I was a kid, listen, he is saving me, saves me today, he saves me tomorrow, a lot of times from myself, sometimes from stuff, but a lot of times he's just talking to me about what I need to do and what I need to change and what he's going to do for me, and he's so encouraging. So to help you understand what's just happened to you, KCM has a free salvation package to send you. It's a book called He Did It All For You. We have two brochures as well to help you start studying and reading your Bible. This is going to help you get to know Jesus. He's your Lord, your Savior, and he's also your friend. These free resources will help you know what belongs to you in Christ, what he promised you, what he did for you, and what he bought and paid for. This is free, so request yours today on kcm.org. And listen, while you're there, look around. We've got free teachings, downloads. Uh, there's topics that are important to you from marriage to children to healing to finances. Just look around and see what see what where the Lord will lead you. And you'll begin to feed your spirit and to grow in the Word. And watch the broadcasts. We have them on there available or meetings we've done in the past and meetings that we're doing in the future. We'd love to see you at a KCM event. This is Kelly Copeland reminding you today that Jesus, think about that, Jesus is Lord. Request your free salvation package today. Simply email us at partners at kcm.org.uk.
They need God to bring new visions, His manifested power, and great change in your life. You have a free resource to help you study and apply the Bible-based truths you just heard. Download the BBOV broadcast study notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Collect the notes from each week and use them in a group Bible.